Hi children, today we can start a new lesson, subtraction. You have already learned how to subtract one digit and two digit numbers. Let's revise some examples here. Here you can see 6 minus 3. How can you subtract 3 from 6? First, keep 3 in your fingers and count backward of 6. 5, 4, 3. So, 6 minus 3 is 3. Next example, 7 minus 3. Here, you should keep 3 in your fingers and count backward of 7. 6, 5, 4. So, 7 minus 3 equals 4. Now, try to do these examples yourself. Next, listen some properties of subtraction. First, when we subtract a number from itself, the answer is always 0. Example, 4 minus 4. To subtract 4 from 4, you should keep 4 in your fingers and count backward of 4. 3, 2, 1, 0. So, 4 minus 4 equals 0. Second, when we subtract 0 from a number, the answer is the number itself. Example, 6 minus 0. 0 means nothing. So, 6 minus 0 you will get 6. Next, subtraction problems without regrouping. Here, first example, 79 minus 28. Arrange these numbers according to place value. And start from 1's place. Here in 1's place, 9 and 8. Can we subtract 8 from 9? Yes. Keep 8 in your fingers and count backward of 9. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So in 1's place we will get 1. Next, 10's place. 7 minus 2. Keep 2 in your fingers and count backward of 7. 6, 5. So, answer is 51. In second example, you can see three digit numbers. 534 minus 120. Arrange these numbers according to place value. And then start from 1's place. In 1's place, 4 and 0. Can you subtract 4 and 0? Yes, 4 minus 0 is 4. Next, 10's place. In tens place 3 and 2, 3 minus 2. So keep 2 in your fingers and count backward of 3, 2, 1. So in tens place you will get 1. Next, hundreds place. In hundreds place 5 and 1. 5 minus 1 is 4. Answer is 414. In class 2, you have learned how to subtract two digit numbers with regrouping. We can revise that here. To remember easily, you just learn a subtraction form. More on top, no need to stop. More on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. 
numbers the same zeros the game that means here first you can see example 78 minus 26 so to subtract these first we can start from one's place 8 minus 6 here you can see more on top that means 8 is more so no need to stop we can subtract easily 8 minus 6 we will get 2 then next tens place 7 minus 2 5 so answer is 52 in second example check one's place 2 and 6 but here more on the floor that means 6 is more so we can't subtract 2 minus 6 because 2 is smaller and 6 is greater here we want to borrow 1 from 4 that's why go next door and get 10 more we are taking 1 from 10's place that means 10 we are taking so we will get 12 12 minus 6 is 6 3 minus 2 is 1 so answer is 16 in third examples numbers the same in one's place you can see same numbers 5 so 5 minus 5 0 then tens place 3 minus 1 3 minus 1 is 2 so answer is 20 now we can do one more problem of two digit numbers with regrouping 32 minus 13 first arrange these numbers according to place value and then start from one's place in one's place 2 and 3 can we subtract 3 from 2 no so remember the subtraction form more on the floor go next door and get 10 more that means we should borrow here we can take 1 from 3 then we will get 2 and then in one, 1's place 12 now we can subtract 3 from 12 keep 3 in your fingers and count backward of 12 11 10 9 so in 1's place you will get 9 next do subtraction in 10's place 2 minus 1 is 1. So you will get the answer 19. Next, subtracting 3 digit numbers with regrouping. To do subtraction problems with regrouping f remember these points first arrange the numbers according to place value second start from one's place third remember the subtraction form here first example 564 minus 138 we arrange these numbers according to place value now we can start from one's place in one's place 4 and 8 here more on the floor go next door and get 10 more that means we should borrow one from tens place here in tens place 6 if we take one from 6 it will be 5 then now in one's place it will be 14 now we can subtract 14 minus 8 so keep 8 in your fingers and count backward of 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 in one's place we will get 6 next tens place 5 minus 3 can we subtract 
yes because more on the top 5 is more so keep 3 in your fingers and count backward of 5 4 3 2 so in tens place 2 next hundreds place 5 minus 1 can we subtract 5 minus 1 yes because 5 is more so 5 minus 1 is 4 Answer is four hundred twenty-six. Next example: seven hundred thirty-two minus five hundred forty-one. Arrange these numbers according to place value. Then start from ones place. Here in ones place, two and one. Can you subtract one from two? Yes, because more on top. Two is more, so. we can subtract 1 from 2 2 minus 1 is 1 next tens place in tens place 3 and 4 can you subtract 4 from 3 no because more on the floor go next door and get 10 more that means we should borrow 1 from hundreds place to make it as 13 if we take 1 from 7 it will be 6 now in hundreds place 6 and tens place 13 can you subtract 13 minus 4 yes keep 4 in your fingers and count backward of 13 12 11 10 9 now you will get in tens place 9 next hundreds place 6 minus 5 we can subtract 6 minus 5 because more on top 6 is more so keep 5 in your fingers and count backward of 6 5 4 3 2 1 so in hundreds place you will get one the answer is 191 let us see some more subtraction problems with the regrouping but here we are regrouping two times first example 926 minus 389 first we can arrange these numbers and then start from ones place here in ones place 6 and 9 can you subtract 9 from 6 no here more on the floor so we should borrow borrow 1 from tens place in tens place 2 if we take 1 from 2 it will be 1 and then ones place we will get 16 now you can subtract 9 from 16 keep 9 in your fingers and count backward of 16 then you will get 7 in ones place 7 next tens place can you subtract 8 from 1 no here more on the floor so again we should borrow 1 from hundreds place in hundreds place 9 if we take 1 from 9 it will be 8 then in tens place this 1 will be 11 now you can subtract 8 from 11 keep 8 in your fingers and count backward of 11 you will get 3 in tens place 3 next hundreds place Can you subtract three from eight? Yes. Keep three in your fingers and count backward of eight. You will get five. So answer is five hundred thirty-seven. Subtraction with zeros: six hundred minus two hundred fifty-seven. First, we can arrange these numbers and start from ones place. Here in ones place, zero and seven. Can you subtract seven from zero? No. More on the floor, so we should borrow from tens place. 
but here in tens place zero how can we take one from zero it is not possible so first we should make it as 10 by taking one from hundreds place here in hundred hundreds place six if we take one from six it will be five now tens place will be ten if we borrow one from this ten it will be nine now ones place is ten tens place is nine hundreds place is five you can subtract now ten minus seven keep seven in your finger and count backward of ten you will get in ones place three tens place nine minus five five keep in your fingers and count backward of nine you will get four hundreds place five minus two keep two in your fingers and count backward of five you will get three answer is three hundred forty three i want to show an alternative method for this same problem 600 minus 257 here we can start from ones place in ones place 0 and 7 more on the floor so we should borrow from tens place but in tens place 0 it is not possible to borrow 1 from 0 here in hundreds place 6 so you just keep this 6 with this 0 now you can read this as 60 I just circle here to understand if you borrow 1 from 60 it will be 59 that means if you take away 1 from 60 it will be 59 now write 9 above 0 and 5 above 6 do subtraction easily start from one's place 10 minus 7 is 3 9 minus 5 is 4 5 minus 2 is 3 so answer is 343 children do these homeworks in your notebook